In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Kog Reroll in set 11. So this is actually the second best comp according to the stats. It has a 4.11 average placement. The only comp that's performing better is Bard Reroll right now. And who am I? I miss a TFT enjoyer who has hit either Grandmaster or Masters every set I play. So I just share my tips and guides so you guys can achieve that rank as well. So without a further ado, let's get straight on into it. So we actually re-rolled for four different units right here. It's Kogma, Caitlyn, Malphite and Shogat. So you want to slow roll in the early game, prioritize Econ. And you know get those three stars and after that you can push levels but don't touch the xp button before you hit the three stars and other than that you just push all mythic units but you need to three star at least you know these one cost or most of them so we have mythic units so it's cog and it's shogaf and then you want to pair it with their sub trait so behemoth we get malphite in with that and he's also heavenly, so we get that, uh, you know, heavenly bonus activated with Nico. So Malphite fits perfectly into the comp. And we also play Caitlyn because she's a one cost sniper. So it's very easy to hit that when you're rolling for Kog as well. And other than that, when you free star these units, you use push levels and you put as many mythic units in as possible so throw in Kench, throw in Nico, throw in Nott, throw in Lilia, throw in Huey it's a very basic comp really and that's pretty much about it for the game plan so let's talk a little bit about items as well I'll bring up the stats so you see what I'm talking about so we're kicking it off with Kogma he's the main carry he basically has 30 mana on his ability so that's why he's performing best with blue buff and Nashers. You can see they give a 0.6 lower placement, 0.5 lower placement right here. And all of the other items, they are, you know, by a landslide worse than these. Look, 0.00, 0, 0, 0, 0.20, you get the deal. And lastly, the last item you want to build is UL Gauntlet. But you can build other AP items. I just prefer UL Gauntlet. The reason for it is... Mythic, they already buff your AD and AP, so he's gonna get a lot of AD and base AP. So you rather crit off that increased AP than you just give him more AP. It's more efficient. And the reason you build blue is because he has further mana. This takes it down to 20. He's gonna cast <laughs> so much. And the reason why you build Nashers is because after you cast... When you have Nashers, you get more attack speed. And since he has 20 mana, he's going to have perma attack speed activated. So it's really good. So that's the best items for Kog right there. And when it comes to Caitlyn, the most people they actually build Shoujin. Which is totally fine. She has 100 mana. So it totally makes sense building that. But I actually prefer to build Ginsu on her. You can see it gives a little bit of... Uh, uh, average lower placement and the reason for it is because uh, you usually have a lot of frontline in this comp so she stays alive for a long time and since she has like 100 mana she's just gonna auto 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 get infinite attack speed and it's gonna scale better in the fight than a shoujin does but shoujin is def definitely okay item don't get me wrong but you should never go for more than one mana or attack speed item then when you have built those items you just go full damage slam a eye on her and slam perhaps a death blade or a giant slayer and yeah she's gonna one shot just one thing to mention right here if you manage to get a sniper's focus it's just completely insane the reason for it is because this item makes you know you deal more damage the further away your target is and the snipers they get more range so it just works really well together and the thing with uh, Caitlyn, she shoots the furthest target away, so she can get infinite value from this. And the Kogma, he also gets more range on his ulti from every cast. There's no mana, so he casts every time. So he's just uh, gonna get so much damage from this item. And uh, 
sorry, he gets more range every second cast, I believe. Other than that, you wanna usually slam your tank items on Shogat because uh, he's the mythic unit and uh, you free star him because he's one cost. So slam those tank items on him. And I like to slam a Sunfire or a Spark on uh, Malphite because I usually free star him as well since he's a one cost that you're rolling for. And other than that, use push levels, throw random tank items on Nautilus because he's a four cost. He's a good tank, right? And uh, random AP items on, uh, or like mana items on uh, Huey or Lilia if you get a lot of, you know, more items. And the only thing I want to mention other than this is uh, Ilau is good, pretty good to slam in sometimes. Because she gives you Ghostly, she gives you Warden and also Arcanist. So she basically gives you free traits. Let's see if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you see, we have Warden, Ghostly, and Arcanist. So, let's say you're at the 5 Mythic. You can't get in 7 Mythic. You can throw in a random uh, Ilaoi just to get all of those traits activated. Or let's say you have a Mythic Spat. Or, I don't know, maybe at level 7. Or level 10. And then you can just throw in a random Ilaoi. And it's just uh, really good. And yeah, that's basically it for the comp. Hope you guys, uh, you know, found this useful. And good luck on your climb. And let's get some free LP with the best performing comp right now. Be sure to sub for more content. And uh, yeah, peace out everyone. Ciao.